Hi, I'm Isaiah, and you're watching the Venom Vlog. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Venom Vlog, and today is free comic book day. Uh, it is like Christmas for someone like me. Venom's your favorite? Yeah? yeah. All right. What do you like about him? He's big and black. How are you? I'm good. How are you? And Spider-Man's favorite. And Spider-Man's favorite too? Yeah. Cool. And I do love Venom. Venom. And the movie might not have been my favorite of the year, but uh, Venom know. looked great. I really liked how he looked. The CG was amazing. Yeah, really good. Hey, what's up? Free Venom comic? I like your Spider-Man shirt. You're very welcome. Oh yeah, take your time, man. Take your time. Yeah. Boom. How about a Venom poster? Come on, it's sexy Tom Hardy. You know you want it. Can't say no to that guy. Would you like an Avengers comic too? Just yeah. All right. <laughs> Spider-Man and Venom. Wow. Yeah. And Carnage. Thank you so much. Have a good one. I don't mention Carnage, oh, but. Oh yes, thank you. Yeah, it's a picture of Tom Hardy. I have, one I have the other one. Oh, cool. Yeah. The one with just like this, like the right, face yeah. on it. Cool. Yeah, I awesome. Picture next to the big poster too. Awesome. Why well, run a show called the Venom Blog on YouTube? I talk all yeah. Venom all the time. So check it out if you can. Oh, Sweet. For you, how about a free Carnage comic? I'd love to have that. All right. Here, here's some books I wrote. And then here's a free poster if you want. Cool. All right, man. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good to see you. Hey, Spidey, what's up, dude? Cool shirt. Thank you. Here, would you like a free Spidey comic? All right. How about a new comic you never heard of before? Sure. All right. What's up, guys? Free Venom comic? Yeah, man. Oh, I like your shirt. Free Comic Book Day 2019 comes to a close, at least for me. I know my friends at Golden Apple, they actually continued it, and they did uh, Free Comic Book Day Part 2 at the Comic Bug. They went to another store here in Los Angeles and had Blastosaurus and everything set up over there and, you know, gave out more copies of the annual and everything, which was really cool. I thought that was a neat idea for Blastosaurus because I love Richard and Paul who make that book, and I really love the book itself. And even though it's a book made by Golden Apple, so obviously I'm a little biased, but still it's a really good book. I, I just enjoy it in general. I think it's a lot of fun. And so when I heard they were doing the annual for free comic day, I was like, I got to get a copy. I got to get it signed. So I was, it was nice to talk to those guys and, uh, you know, them tell me a little bit about the plans coming up for the book and that they're going to continue it, which is really, really great. So please support independent comics like this. Uh, pick up Last Source, especially if you have kids out there. It's a lot of fun. It's a really, really great book. Um, so anyway, so I got to hang out with them. Uh, everyone at Golden Apple, you know, Ryan, uh, Sharon, Kendra, uh, Alex, the whole team there, you know, Joe from Joe on Joe Podcast, and Chris and the people I ran into. Omar, who was a guy, he has his own independent book now. And um, forgive me, I have like a big stack here of stuff I got to go through. Uh, but Omar is making his own book called The Unearthians. 
and uh, and this is something he gave out for free uh, on his own. He's he's actually a doctor, and he's also a comic book writer, and you know, getting into telling stories, uh, which is really great. It's also it's really great to see someone from that profession and have that type of care put something into something creative like this, uh, which is really cool. So I'll put Omar's information down below so you can check out the Unearthians if you want to as well. He was a really great guy. He was with me I, in the morning when I started. I got to hang out with Jerry uh, Duggan pretty much the whole morning from 10 a.m. to about 1 p.m. Uh, ish or close to 2 p.m. Uh, he was with me the, you know, almost the whole time. And then he had to go and like, or maybe he was only there till like noon or 1230. Uh, but he was there with me most of the morning. And he's obviously the writer of a lot of great books. Um, I picked up, you know, I had this actually Wolverine in Infinity Walk number one, he signed it for me. And the War of the Realms Punisher number one, he was nice enough to sign for me. He signed a free comic book day Avengers book for me and Savage Avengers number one. And we are going to do a like review type of thing coming up. I'm going to combine these because there's actually not a lot of venom in it. But since he will be a part of the book, uh, and you know, I was luckily it was able to talk to Jerry a little bit about some things. I have an interview that I have uh, that we you know recorded, and I will be posting that up probably next after this one because this is just kind of my me you know over you know going over everything that happened throughout the day on Free Comic Day. But I'll have reviews. I'll have reviews of um, you know this especially coming up, uh, but also Savage Vendors. But this Spider Man Donny Cates Venom book. Uh, I'm going to do a review on coming up soon because obviously they're going to get into absolute carnage soon. And uh, I want to talk about it and promote it a little bit because I know even though I'm not a big fan of some of the stuff that's going on, I know a lot of you guys are. So I want to share that with you guys. Then I just picked up some comic books that I just wanted to get. Uh, Transformers number three and four I was able to pick up. Uh, again, I like supporting indie books as well as the big companies. So I also picked up from Image The Warning, uh, which is really, really good. LaRoche, who's been doing this, he's uh, writing it and drawing it. And he was a customer at Golden Apple and I knew him many years ago. So when I heard that he was finally, you know, he had a book coming out and he was sounded very excited about it. And so I picked up the first issue and I really dug it and so I've been still reading it and I really like it from Image Comics so pick up the warning if you haven't already um, I got Green Lantern 6 and 7 because I'm a Green Lantern fan I always have to have Green Lantern stuff um, I got some more of the Realms uh, tie-ins Avengers uh, the new issue of Avengers uh, number 18 I got my copy of Venom number 13 from Golden Apple first printing uh, they are doing a second printing, so if you missed it, don't worry. There's a second printing coming out soon with Magic Venom on the cover. Uh, and then, uh, or some of you guys call them Rune Venom as well. Uh, so whichever name you prefer. Uh, then I also got War of the Realms War Scrolls because I wanted to read about Daredevil getting his new power set. And then, of course, Spawn 296 uh, you know, Road to 300. So, um, yeah, you know, for a free comic day, I know it's a great day to get free comics but it's also a good day to support local businesses uh, especially ones that are trying to promote liter literacy and get comic books out there so uh, that's why I like going so much and I missed out going last year so it was really nice that Ryan let me come and help out and hand out you know on behalf of Marvel and Donny Cates and Ryan Stegman the, you know their book that they worked really hard on to set up their new event book coming out later this year so it was it meant a lot to me I mean it was nice to get asked to do something like that obviously from Ryan at Golden Apple uh, I didn't you know get the okay from Donny or anyone like that but as much as I'm criti you know, critical of the work that they do, I don't have anything against those guys, obviously, personally. Uh, I don't know them personally, but from judging from how they interact on social media, I would say they seem like pretty awesome guys, and I'm definitely in their corner rooting for them. But, you know, I just have some criticism of the book is all. So, you know, but I know you guys don't, so I want to try to, you know, get the word out there. Uh, if you haven't picked up this, go to your local comic store and definitely get an issue. It's free. Um, and if you can't, if you can't get near a comic store, you can go on Comixology, and I believe these are free to download. So there's no reason you don't read this book book unless you just you know don't want to for some reason but I would say you know you should give it a shot it's really awesome I actually had someone who watches the Venom vlog come up to me and say hey I watch your show and I really like it and I was blown away by this he was the only person all day that came up and knew who I was and it really made my whole day it really did and it was funny because he, he looked kind of nervous talking to me and I'm like dude I'm excited that you like even recognize me. It meant a lot. So I was like, can I get a selfie with you? And then also can I, uh, you know, get a video of you saying, hey, this is Isaiah and you're watching the Venom vlog, which is at the beginning of this episode. I had to include them on the show and you'll see that pop up uh, every now and again. I definitely want to include you guys as fans. And uh, and so whenever I meet you in person, I, I will probably ask, hey, can I get an intro for the show? Uh, so th thank you, Isaiah, for that. It really made my day. 
and everyone else who came up and said hi hollywood wolverine when i went to the butcher shop next door to pick up my burger uh, he was there like pretending to chop up the meat so i got some footage of him doing that which was pretty awesome and uh, then later on like uh, just earlier this evening i went actually to see Endgame again and i didn't get home till midnight now it's like one in the morning i didn't get home till midnight and i saw when i was coming out of the movie i saw it was on hollywood boulevard and i saw hollywood wolverine i was like you gotta be kidding me it's the same guy so i went up and i was like hey man can i give you a couple bucks can i get another picture with you and um he was like, no, man, keep your money. I remember you from Golden Apple, Venom Vlog. We were talking for a few minutes, and he was like, all right, let's get in here. Let's take a couple selfies together. So we took one where I'm smiling, and then another one where he put his claws like out towards me. And uh, it was great. He was a really nice guy. I was like, I, I was weird. I got like starstruck around him because I'm such a Wolverine fan. But on top of that, I'm a huge, big Hugh Jackman fan too. And this guy looked and sounded just like him, but he was also really nice, just like a really nice dude. And, uh, you know, I live in LA, and it's, it's not always the case when you meet people, uh, no matter what what profession they're in you know so you, you're never sure you're always on guard but he was such the nicest guy in the world and uh, it meant a lot and it was so it was cool to begin my day getting uh, photos with him and then later ending my day with it too uh, and then getting home so late now so yeah you know i'm gonna wrap this up but i had a blast if you're not part of free comic book day this year definitely try to uh you know involve yourself in it next year so check your local comic store see what that's about see if you can get involved see if you can help out because it is about you know helping spread literacy helping spread comics you know comics are a really interesting business now. A lot of people have their reasons why they think the industry is not doing so well or not profitable, you know, when it comes to certain things. Uh, but for me, I always find good comics. Like, you know, you could release a hundred bad comics or comics that I personally don't like, but I always find five or 10 that I really like. And that's where you want to do. You just support what you like, you know, uh, don't spend all your energy talking about the bad stuff. At least that's not my approach to it. Um, I don't like doing that. It's just, it's a mental thing. Uh, it's very draining and people will say all day, like they'll go like, oh, I can bash people all day. It's, it's fun for me, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, but deep down, it's, I, I can't imagine it is. At least it wasn't for me when I got really critical at times and, and just released negative stuff after negative, you know, video after negative video. It just, I don't know. It was like, I feel like I'm I'm just being a negative person and, and I'm, I'm taking it out in the wrong ways. People work really hard in these books. I know firsthand how hard it is to make a comic book. I've made several and it's very, very hard every single time. And you do your best. You aim to do your best. Uh, but also, I feel like you should listen to criticism. And people have told me many times the things I suck at. And at first, you know, I don't want to hear it. I get defensive. I, I you know, play whatever card I want to play to push them away from me or, you know, say they don't understand what I'm doing. You, you fall into those traps. But really... You know, at the end of the day, you should listen to people. You should always listen when you create something and put it out there. You should hear, at least hear what people have to say. You don't have to agree with it, but you should at least hear it and then let it simmer for a while. And if there is something that you think, you know what, maybe I can improve on this, maybe try, you know, and that's, I think that is what any artist's goal should be, whether they create YouTube videos or music or movies, you know, or comic books, whatever it is, it's a good mentality to have. And it took me a long time to understand that. So take it from me. Uh, don't go through years of, of self-hatred and, and uh, negativity to get where I am now. Trust me on this. Uh, it's, it's much more fun to talk about the things you love than it is about the things you hate. Uh, definitely criticize. Always criticize if you have criticisms, but don't dwell on it. And that's what I try to do on the show. Try to keep things positive, And hopefully you guys are down for that. But obviously there will be times where I criticize stuff and I get a little negative. But I'll try not to be too much of a bummer if I can help it. But yeah, let me know what you picked up at your comic store this week. And let me know how you support your local comic store. How often do you go? What store do you go to? Give them a shout out in the comments down below. And we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.